Dance her in. Looks like you just danced your way into destiny, your majesty, queen of the prom. No, come on. There is no way I'm gonna get it. <laughs> you always say you're not gonna win. And then you always do. Yeah, Miss Class Treasurer, president of the Honor Society. And soon to be dancing with the Metropolitan Ballet. Okay, don't jinx me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the magic moment has arrived. You know them. You obviously love them. You voted them your king and queen of the prom. And the winners are... Scott Peterson and Alyssa Lennox. so perfect tonight, I got this serious case of prom fever. Oh, wow, we mean disco fever. Look at that outfit, boogie down. Oh, hey, how about that 70s hair, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Did your crown happen to look like this one? <gasps> oh, <laughs> honey, congratulations. I knew you were gonna win. Shh, you're gonna wake Dad. Oh, please, you could do double pirouettes on his chest and he wouldn't budge. Should I try? Might be a good warm-up for the audition. No, I think you should be getting to bed. Auditioning ballerinas, they need their beauty rest. That's Valerie Berchenko. She was in the first ballet I ever saw. Yikes. She makes me nervous just looking at her. All right, children, let us begin. You are all warmed up? Yes. That is yes, madame, and that was not a question. Now, we are privileged to have here today Miss Gillian Monroe, our principal dancer from the company, who will assist me in evaluating your performance. First group. Very good, thank you. Um, step forward. First arabesque, please. Thank you. That will be all. You're not gonna have lunch? No, I usually rehearse right through lunch. You will too, if you're smart. I don't mean to scare you. Well, actually, I do. If you want to do well, you've got to work really hard. I will. Didn't I work hard for you all those years, even though you were a pain? <laughs> Remember when you went on point for the first time? <laughs> yeah, and fell flat on my butt. <laughs> this is a whole other level, though, Alyssa. It takes total dedication, and I think you made it, but just barely. It's OK. I'll practice every day to get ready. Good luck. What time's Dad getting home? I've got something to tell you guys. Tell us what? Sorry. Sorry, I know I'm late. I know I'm late. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hey. <laughs> what? What's up? Oh, not much. You're just looking at the newest apprentice dancer for the world-famous <laughs> Metropolitan Ballet. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. oh, another artist in the family. Mm, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that sure is. Wow, look at this. So it's, uh, it's the ballet over college, huh? We've talked about this, David. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Just a small piece for me, please. I know, but so is an academic scholarship to Northwestern. I mean, they have a great theater and dance program there. Yes, but Metropolitan wants me now. A professional dance career is short enough as it is. And think of all the money you'd be saving on housing. I'll be commuting. I'll even be getting a salary. I just want you to be sure. 
Okay, I mean, college, it's, it's a great time to figure out your future and to explore your options. There are no other options. Our daughter wants to be a ballerina. Don't you, honey? Right. Where's the door to the main stage? It's down the hall on your left. And hurry, you're late. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you all to the Metropolitan Ballet Company. This is the main stage where we will premiere this season's ballet. My name is Michael Gregory. I am the artistic director and choreographer. Most of you have already met Madame Verchenko, our ballet mistress. All apprentice dancers will wear black leotards and pink tights. You will attend classes every morning and rehearsals every afternoon. Our standards are very high. That's why you're here. And we expect you to live up to them. Speaking of which, young lady. Yes, you, the one who is late. Please stand. What is your name? Alyssa Lennox, sir. Alyssa Lennox. Remember that name, everyone. Apparently, she doesn't plan to be here long enough for us to read it in the program. If you don't want to be part of this company, there are a hundred other girls that would kill to take your place. Be seated. Ninety-eight. He was pretty tough on you. Ninety-eight? Yeah. All right. I'll definitely never be late again. <laughs> You should have known better. Next. Michael Gregory doesn't fool around. Where are you from, anyway? 97. Cliffside? <sighs> no wonder. I guess we're the only two from outside the farm system. 99. Yeah. Yeah, hear they've all been taking classes here together for years. I'm Melissa, by the way. Tori, nice to meet you, troublemaker. Step up, please. One oh four. Hmm. Plies, ready, and... Demi-plie and stretch. Demi-plie and stretch. Grand plie, port de bras forward. Your body is my instrument. Make music with your movements. Alyssa, stomach in, pull up. Demi-plié. No, you're off the music. Listen to the beat. Do it again from the top. Energy, energy. Higher, Karen. We've been working on this for two weeks. Are you tired? Is this too much for you? I hear there are plenty of job opportunities in Vegas. No, madame. I need my tape. Get your own. <laughs> 